Welcome back everybody to Timber and Stone. Um, ben isn't here because we actually sat down for our usual recording session uh, as we do uh, every week and uh, my game crashed. So I actually had to roll back my save and luckily I keep save folders. That's pretty much what I do because um, I'm a chicken like that. I don't trust these things. And uh, so my game has been pretty much rolled back to the point where we picked started our recording and um, well I'm just going to have to record a couple episodes on my own. So what have we got covered in 1.51? Now let me see, uh, let's go to full con control. We have sky boxes. How fantastic do they look? They look pretty damn nifty if you're asking me but they actually are looking pretty nice. And also we have um, new tooltips on our right click, which is a little bit of a bugger to get around, but um, actually I want to uh, whoop, get rid of that tree stump. I don't like that tree stump there. And while I'm at it, and while I've got the ability, something I noticed in while Ben and I were playing, that uh, I was trying to dig a moat out this side of the wall but my miner was getting a little bit confused, so uh, I'm going to place a storage mining stockpile out the back here. And I'm also going to put out a tool chest because the. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Uh, get out of that, get out. Ah, just stuffed up. Okay. Uh, I did not mean to click on that. Let's get back to uh, full fixed RTS mode because that's a little easy control. The only thing I've got to uh, say about uh, the uh, full camera control, it needs WASAD support well, when it is actually in WASAD. Okay, so we'll just get rid of all those notifications. Uh, we'll design a tool chest. Here we go. Stick that out there. Lovely. Now to get the uh, stool, uh, stool chest, the tool chest built, we're going to change James over to a carpenter and get that done. And Ophelia will eventually. Oh, his iron axe broke. Damn. I don't think I've actually got any iron, any axes to cover him. Damn bugger. So we're just going to have to make some uh, stone axes, I think. We'll make five of those, just to cover that. Okay, we'll get rid of some of these other designations. The other thing I've noticed too, that uh, herding the chickens, we're not getting our feathers as yet, so my training facility is going to be a little bit uh, slowed down. Actually, we'll t change Dell to a stonemason so we can actually make those... Um, just make those axes that he didn't really need requires. Still on a bit of a, uh, a starvation point on food, but I'm getting a lot of wheat, so I'm just going to uh, remove some uh, wheat fields. Yep, I'm definitely uh, sure about that. Uh, resources, let's change. Oh no, someone else is making the snags. That would be probably uh, James. He's doing that for me. So he's actually electing to build the tools before the tool chest. Hmm. That is a bit of a concern. Definitely a bit of a concern, but uh, yeah, things are going actually quite well. Although I could do with more crops. Actually, we could do with more food, period, but uh, I don't have to really worry about... Um... Let's see, let's get Dell back to chopping wood, what he's good at. Alright, so James is doing what? He's going to get some gear. And hopefully make that tool chest out the back end. What are you doing James? Emptying. Walking. 
Yeah, I definitely have. There's definitely some pathing bugs still looming. Hopefully, they'll all be addressed. There's another uh, patch coming out, uh, 1.52, that should help address some of these other pathing issues that I think I'm experiencing right now. So, uh, I think we'll get Ophelia. Can I get her to come out here? No. I've got a feeling I'm going to need a back door to this place. I really don't want to uh, have that sort of thing. But um, I may need to move around my carpentry bench, tool chest and resource crates and everything else like that. And have another door structure coming into the center of my halls. It looks like it may be a thing, just to assist with pathing, because pathing is pretty terrible right about now. Now, I don't know what James thinks he's doing. But I have a feeling I'm definitely going to have to... Uh, that. Oh boy. My storage wagon is going to be in the way also. James, what are you doing to me? I don't believe it. The pathing can't be that terrible. Oh no, he's off. He's doing what I, he's finally doing what I asked him to do. Ah, uh, silly peoples. But the uh, the other thing that I was able to do here, uh, where I'm not actually recording with Ben, I've actually included all these shadows and everything else. So we should be able to see some sort of like shadow changing from the terrain as we shift from day to night so that will be a, a bit of a plus I wouldn't have got that had I not had I been uh, using that footage from uh, playing with Ben but um, definitely having him along and actually chatting with is it is nice it is nice to have someone to talk to while you're playing a single player game and you're playing the same game as well so Okay, we've got a tool chest out in the middle of nowhere, so that should help with some pathing issues. And I dare say Ophelia has gone to sleep. Now, who else is asleep here? Ah, that's right. We have renamed the builder to Wingnut the Great. Hopefully it's not Wingnut the Stupid, but um, currently with the pathing issues that I'm having, that could be quite possible. But I'm not getting the feathers from the chickens when I'm when I'm herding them. You definitely get herders, uh, feathers from chickens when you kill them. I do know that for fact. Okay, so what are we going to uh, do? As you might see, I'm actually uh, putting another layer of field stone underneath this um, stone wall. That is, I'd, I'd like it like a bit of a prettier castle. Uh, plain stone was good. It was serviceable. I got it up quick. Um, I don't have any uh, like a concentration of enemies come through, which is handy because uh, breaking. Uh, would you stop breaking these things? I don't think I've got very many hoes to replace them. So. I suppose we are progressing. What can we do with uh, that's wing nut? That's James. What are we doing with James? Let's change him out to the stone mason. I'm fairly sure I still got some field stone to make. Yep, I sure do. But I am starting to run a little low on stone, if you can believe that. <laughs> Alright, we don't need that. 
Also, uh, another thing that was uh, brought in in, uh, I think it was 1.5 or 1.51, is that uh, all the um, notifications were turned off by default. I like having all the notifications there, until it gets a little bit too spammy. But hey, my food! We've managed to get food! Yippee! All right, nice, very good. So our fi one fisherman, which I've managed to get some rope together. I think I managed to get that with through my flex farm. Now it seems to be going to late night. Oh, you, you can actually see the shadows here. That's nice. You don't get any shadows from the campfires, however. Now when they figure that out. It's definitely graphically it's going to be a very nice looking game. But uh, okay, so I've got builders, I've got where did Dell get to? Dell Dell Dell. He's around here somewhere. Oh, he's stuck. Stuck or just not going to where the trees are. Yeah, there still is a little bit of micromanagement required with these uh, workers. Not very happy about that, to be honest. And I'll get rid of that bush, because that's going to be uh, where the moat is going to end up being. But defense-wise, I'm fairly positive I've got everything sorted out. I would like to get my um, archery training happening. But first, before I do that, I'll wait. Now nah, I'm going to wake Ophelia up. I know he's probably yeah depriving her of a little bit of sleep. Yeah, a bit fatigued, unfortunately. Or maybe I have to wait. Hmm. I could actually put out another miner. Okay, we'll change Wingnut out. Give him some mining practice. Also, another thing that was updated too was the uh, the text font. It looks much neater, especially in the notifications and everywhere else. So hopefully we'll get uh, this area dug out a little bit quicker, and we can make that um, stockpile on the other side. Ah, good. He's removing the. Okay, so now he's chopping trees out over there. Yeah, I've got a feeling I'm definitely going to have to um, put in another bank of doors leading to the outside wall on this side as well. But I can't do that until I've actually got enough storage for everything. So pretty much storage for armor, weapons, food and seeds. Oh, actually food and seeds, I think I can always do that now. Another thing the uh, developer is talking is actually wants to phase these buttons out. I don't think he can quite do that quite yet. But he's getting close. Alright, so... James, I think we need to carpenter you. Yep, so we can make that food barrel. I don't know if I've actually got any herders. Um, do I? Oh no. Neil? Neil? Uh, yep, something like that. <laughs> yep. He's hurting quite nicely. Um, I might just put. Yeah, I'm loath to put things outside of the walls. But this happens to be where all the trees are. Maybe if I actually put some more trees. Oh no, that's the other thing too. You basically right click to get your um, menus up, but uh, you got to make sure that uh, you haven't got anybody else selected. Okay, how many trees can we put down? 19. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And one for good luck. Alright. So... Still waiting for that stockpile to be built. At least we're getting a bit more stone together. Now, why are they? I don't know why the workers are going to. Pretty much, they they empty out everything in their pack, and then they empty out. So they change their tools over or something. They seem to be pathing towards the tool chest more often. See? Even Dell, after chopping trees for a little while, decided to path towards the uh, toolbox. Why? Empty inventory. Okay, Dell, buddy, mate, come back over this way. Yeah, I've definitely got to put in a doorway. I don't know whether it's going to be sooner rather than later, but it's definitely going to happen. Right, so... What are we waiting on? I'd like to dig that mode out a bit more. And I'm pretty much just waiting on miners to do their thing. Uh, I'm starting to get like a bit more food. Yeah, definitely having. Oh, look at the, look at the ray. Look at the sun. It is getting to sun sunrise. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that for Dell, but that's pretty close. Let's have a look at the sunrise. How pretty is that? Now, if I can only run this more qu uh, quicker than 11 frames a second. It would be very, very, very nice, but that actually does look pretty damn decent. Now, yep, if they could only do that with the uh, forge light and the campfires, then it will definitely turn into an, an epic game. That is for sure. I do like the shadows. It's actually pretty nifty. Gives a bit more depth to the game. But also, in saying that, graphics aren't everything. Okay, so. We're getting all these trees put down. De they're definitely not uh, making the um, storage things as quick as I'd like them to. But, we shall have to see. Well, once I get this little um, forest running on the inside, hopefully pathing with uh, Dell won't be as bad. My only concern is that uh, my little herding operation is not uh, netting me any, any feathers. The only way I'm going to get feathers is if I kill chickens. So, hopefully, maybe that will happen in the next patch. And then I can really progress. But that is the concern for now. I definitely want... Let's, let's double speed this. At least in double speed, it has, it's not actually a really a, a drop on frame rate. Which is actually quite amazing. Okay, now having issues okay let's dig I know it's not preferable but um, I've got to do it actually is that in line it is too
Okay, we're going to have to just basically put some doors out this way. It's not what I want to do, but um, it's going to have to do. Yeah, that's definitely in line. So what did I do over the other side? I have to have symmetry. Must have symmetry. So I'll put another bit of a moat this way. I should be able to dig under there. The next thing, question is... Okay, yep, good, good, good. Yeah, that back door, I'm just... I had to make it. There was no way around it. So uh, once we've opened that uh, side up, we'll put some uh, doors down. But I do have to uh, eventually move, well, basically build all the storage capacity so I can get that uh, that cart out of the way. The storage wagon is definitely going to be my bane for a while. Alright, come on. Yeah, that handle for the uh, storage cart, it's just there for looks. Okay. So, that should help with my pathing issue. At least some of it anyway. And if it comes to it, Perhaps uh, it'll give anybody that comes along a target to basically shoot at. Oh wow, even the shadows for the uh, guys walking along. That's just fantastic. It's lovely. Alright guys, come on. Dig those two pieces out on the top there. I really, really, really need you to do it. I really need that to happen. But it's not happening! Oh well. Maybe I should send some people out to forage. I'm loath to send James out because he's actually rather important. Okay, Wingnut has leveled up and he's mining. Yay! Good on you, Wingnut. Okay, well, how about you, Wingnut? You're going to go out and forage for a bit. What are your preferences for that? Gather berries, hunt sheep, and hunt boar. I've got a few boar in my um, in my herding zone, so I don't have to worry about uh, restricting them. I just got to keep an eye on him. Because if uh, Wingnut strays too far and goes to, decides to go for a bit of a swim, he'll find something that's uh, a little bit of a surprise. Because um, up the back here, if I uh, just camera on down, it's around here somewhere. Yep, the spider horde. It seems so. Uh, I've actually picked a really, really good location. Because we've got spiders basically spawning, or a lot of enemies are spawning along this long edge. Which is fantastic. They can spawn there as much as they like. But I've only got small edges. So hopefully, that will uh, restrict the actual uh, spawning mechanic of the, uh, of the enemy. Right. Now, where is that miner of mine? Carpenter, farmer, my Ophelia. Fix it. Get rid of it. Why is she not doing it? Damn it all. Uh, probably because she can't path to the... Ah. 
Are you joking? Alright. I had to do this on the other side as well. So, it's not going to upset my uh, OCD and keeping everything symmetrical. So Ophelia, we're just going to get you to build for a sec. So you can build those little paths up. One does not simply farm without a hoe. Really? Well, that is a problem, isn't it? Maybe we'll just make some stone hoes. Uh, we can do lots of those. We'll make ten. And we'll have to wake James up. To get it done. Ah, yes, yes, you, you are telling us this. We are going to fix it. All right. Okay, so now we've got a ramp up to the, to the top of the wall. Well, I'll wait for Madeline to fix that completely first. Uh, come on, Maddie, you can do it. And we'll have basically doors to the uh, outside. Hopefully, not to my detriment, because I'm pretty much going to put it like two doors there. Might be okay. I can only hope. So, uh, yep. Affiliate is done there. We can put it back to mining. And we'll get those two top areas out. Okay, folks, well, I've been Raytech. I'll see you all next time. And uh, hopefully uh, Ben will be back. I'll be doing my usual trick, and I'll be playing this game, of course, off camera throughout the week. So you guys can get a little bit more progression and see some more epic builds. Because I know that's why people come to see me. All right, folks, well, I've been Raytech. I'll see you all next time, hopefully with Ben.